What's up guys, Rob here from Decoded and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this cool little animation where everything is linked to an audio file. Okay, so we're going to make this animation in AV. So make sure you're using the AV render engine and select Bloom. You don't need to turn on any other settings in AV. Then we're going to go to the World Properties panel and we're going to change the background colour of the world to be black. So now if we press Z and take a look in rendered mode, we should have a perfectly black environment. So what I'm going to do here is add in a new mesh with Shift and A, and I'm going to add in a monkey head. I'm going to right click and Shade Smooth, which smooths the mesh off a little bit, and then I'm going to press Control and number two. And that's going to add two levels of a subdivision surface modifier, which you can see over here. So now we need to give this mesh some materials. So I'm going to go up to the Shading tab, and with the monkey head selected, I'm going to press New. That'll automatically add in a principal shader. So I'm going to select that and press delete. And I'm going to add in with shift A, I'm going to do a search for an emission shader. Now the problem with the emission shader, as it is standard, if we connect this up to the surface, you can see we lose all of the details. It casts the same amount of light in every direction, so there's no shadows. So what we want to do is add back the eyes and things like that. So I'm going to press shift and D to duplicate the emission shader. I'm going to change the strength of the second one to 10. I'm going to add in a mix shader. Drop that in there and connect the strongest one, the one with the strength of 10, to the bottom. Then I'm going to add in a new node called the layer weight node. The layer weight node, if we look at the facing value, what this does is wherever's facing the camera looks black. So we're going to get this facing node and we're going to connect it to the factor. And now if we look at our emission shader, you can see some of the details coming through. So it just looks a little bit better. It looks a lot better actually. Then I'm going to add in a new node. I'm going to do a search just for ramp and get the color ramp. Connect the color to the color inputs of the emission shader. So now the color of the emission shader is being controlled by this ramp. I want to change the white handle to be red. You can use whatever color you like. I'm going to use this sort of dark red. I want to change the second handle, this black one, to be blue. So I'm going to move the brightness up here and make this blue. Then we're going to press plus and I'll add another handle in the middle. Let's make this a sort of turquoise cyan color. Right, so what we want to do is we want to change this factor over time so that it matches the audio. So if we right click on the factor and insert a keyframe, we can do this really easily in Blender. Let's go back to the layout tab. And if we press this clock in the corner, we can change this bottom panel to be a graph editor. So with the graph editor selected, if there's a drop down menu here called key, if we select this, there's an option called bake sounds to F curves. If yours is grayed out like mine is, you just need to press this button over here only show selected. And if you press that, you should now have the option. Bake sounds to F curves. So if we press this and find an audio file, in this case, I'm going to use this one here. Then what that'll do, you can now see it's changed the, uh, the keyframe over time to match the audio. So I'm just going to play this and we don't have any sound. We need to add the sound in separately in Blender. So I'm going to press escape. And that should take us back to frame one. Make sure you're on frame one when you do this. And change this view type again. We're going to change it to the video sequencer. And in the video sequencer, we can then add in the audio file. So let's go add, sound, select the same audio file. And if we play this again, it's now matched up to the audio file. So let's press escape and go back to the start of our timeline on number one. And let's go back to the graph editor because we're going to take this a step further. We're going to add in some displacement that's also going to be modified based on the sound. So let's go to the modifier panel and select displace, which is in this third column here. Change the strength. I'm going to put the strength down to something like 0.1. So obviously right click on strength, insert keyframe, key. Big sounds to F curves, select the same audio file again. And if we play this, 
now the audio file is controlling the strength value. You can see it moving there over time. So if we stop this, what we can also do, that's inflating a little bit too much for me. So I'm just going to change this mid level. I'm going to set this to something like 0.8. And if we play this again, then we get our final animation. We can have a look at this in Eevee. And I think this looks pretty cool. So that's a really quick little tutorial, guys, but I hope you found it helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you around for the next tutorial in the future.